would drive a car like this to work? Must be some awesome character. This is where they make one of the coolest comic books in the world. Can you hold a moment, please? Hello, may I help you? Hi, where can I find the guy who drives that amazing car out there? He's over there. What's with the cape? Hi, good morning. I am Al Simmons, Spawn, uh, or Sp uh, well, Al, well, I am both. I am both. Here, let me take you back and show you what it's all about, Vanessa. Al's roommate from college, the creator of the superhero Spawn, named the Spawn character after Al. The same way that Clark Kent is the alter ego of Superman, Al Simmons is the alter ego of Spawn. Todd McFarlane, who created Spawn, Vanessa, He'll call up one of his artists and he'll they'll sit down and plot this out. They create thumbnails to illustrate the story. It's the artist's job to take these thumbnails or rough drafts and transform them into the Spawn characters we see in the comic books every month. These drawings are called pencils. Once the pencils are done, the inker takes the pencil sketches and goes over them with India ink to bring out the characters. How would you like to give inking a try? I'd love to. <laughs> This is so cool. I'm actually inking a page of Spawn for the next issue. Inking is what creates the feeling of a comic book. Like if there's a scary scene, you add more shadow. Or if you want to make the mood different, you just lighten things up a bit. Come with me. We get to meet the creator of Spawn, Todd McFarlane. Todd? Yes. Hi, I'm Vanessa. Hey Vanessa, how are you doing today? You know why I gave him such a big cape there? The toughest thing to learn is to draw his anatomy, the human body. So if I cover it up with a drapery, they go, wow, that Todd, he knows how to draw the human body. But the answer is they never actually see it. So it's a, I just trick people all the time, right? So you're actually lazy to make a body, I, so I, you I, just put over a that's cape. That's right. They, but I, although I'm lazy, they call it style. The inked drawings are scanned into a computer. And then, it's the colorist's job to bring every scene to life with color. Take the pen cool. and draw, just like an outline, like you're drawing with a pencil. What a neat pen. Hit the J key, and that's the airbrush. And then you can just spray right over the top of your selection Cool. Layer. See, it's getting lighter. Now you can see what you've done. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And now, the lettering. This is how they put in all that neat dialogue. They used to do it by hand, but now it's mostly done on computers. So what we have to do here, Vanessa, is we have to take the black and white from the letterer and color it, and basically cut and paste things like croon and dialogue and drop it on the actual artwork. So do you want to give it a try? Yes. B. And then go ahead and click, click on that, and then paste, paste it down on there. Whoa! Cool, look at that. That's huge. <laughs> Vanessa, here it is, the issue of Spawn we worked on together. Here, I autographed it for you. Thanks so much. You can get this issue of Spawn next month in comic book stores. But I think I'll go read mine right now.